Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Cheesecake here. Welcome to a new video. This is a not an ordinary video, like gaming videos or anything. Let's do some comedy. By Rays. Cheesecake. Alright, let's start with... Who remembers back in the day, when I say back in the day, when you were younger, like 12, when you turn in year 6. Yeah, when you get really excited and uh, for like sex education. Oh, brilliant days back then, wasn't they? Oh, oh, I missed it all because I was on the computers. Yeah, I walked back in the classroom. Fucking hell, that's a bear. Lots of tits I saw on the fucking screen. And all the girls, the little girls, back then, they kept asking questions why the fucking vagina is really heavy. Oh, that's nice. It's, yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? I oh, remember <coughs> back in the old, you know, back in teenage years like secondary school and that well that was really funny for me I had a really good experience back then I in a sex education class yeah you had to put a condom on a plastic dildo yeah I've got one rule with yeah no one sleeps next to me I'll, I'll, I'll it would be really funny if, if anyone sleeps right next to me like during class right Oh, I just put a cotton dome on the plastic dildo. Some people put it so, uh, some schools put it on a banana or a bloody cucumber, but we had a plastic dildo. My mate fell asleep. Mouth wide open, snoring, snoring. I just put the fucking plastic dildo with the condom right in his mouth. Jesus Christ, people should not sleep ne next to me. Or oh, next time I'd put like dick on his fucking head. Either way, it'd be more funnier for me. Oh, what else is there? Have you heard this joke about um, the Dr. Pepper one? And I said, why, why did that, the Dr. Pepper come in a bottle? His wife died. Then uh, when I told my, my, my mates this before, like years ago, I was like, that's bloody disgusting. Why would you come in a bottle? Why would you come in a bottle? When your wife died. Oh, I fucking hell, fuck that. I'll just come on my bed. Same thing, but at least it's not trapped. Oh, that's an awful joke. Oh, uh, oh, who, oh, who remembers back in school as well when you had to have the tie, to, to, uh, a tie, right tie, when... <coughs> yeah, the teachers, yeah, they know how to kill a kid these days. Yeah, and you had to tuck yourself in, uh, yeah, that's me. I took myself in in front and about... <coughs> yeah, boys, that's how you do it. I'd still get detention because I'd still see my shirt hadn't tucked. Oh, who hates the top button and uh, 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 right at the top, then the tie, then you technically just die. It feel like you're going to die in the classroom. It's a mess, 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 I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Oh, bloody hell, these days. Then days I was aware. The worst days when you had like an operation or broke your leg and you still make you walk fucking up the stairs. Oh, and don't let you use a lift. Do they? Nah, nah, nah. Well, them days, I won't let you use the lift for whatever the fuck, that shit. I'll oh, broke my leg, I'm dead, can I use the lift? Different story, that, like, different story. Oh, who remembers when you, who remembers back at school when you played dodgeball, or what's it called, um, Bulldog, oh, that was my favourite game. Definitely if you put it in, in PE with the girls. They don't like to take that and talk Bulldog, they think they're going to rape you or something. Fucking hell. They don't play on once, yeah. Uh, I slide tack uh, went out uh, and yeah my mate wasn't very happy when his fucking pants fell down. Oh fucking hell. That was funny for me though. Yeah, oh you who, who hates exes, um, right. A little bit of exes. Yeah, when you have all this stuff like I've got a heart like like this is not that expensive. I used to have like two hundred, three hundred quid worth of hats. Yeah, where it you go on a date and blah blah blah, you get like that. So they fucking knit that fucking heart, don't they? Fucking old war. They ask for a bit, they fuck off to somewhere else. Then dump you, leave you in the lurch. I want my fucking 300 quid back. You can now keep the hat, I want my fucking 300 quid. Fucking different story as well. Fucking horrible. And I'm swearing, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, who remember the days back when the ice cream drops? Yeah, you had to fucking run and get it. Then leave the second and fuck off again. Oh, fuck's sake. Them days are whole yeah, even this hot day, if I were now for thirty seconds I'll be like <gasps> <gasps> Fucking hell man, they're horrible now. I used to be like athletic. Yeah, I even though I ditched like sports days back in school. 
Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, back in the day. Fucking horrible. He's like, oh, you want to do a long jump? I do the long jump. Yeah, yeah, do it like that. Yeah, the next day, sports day, I'll fucking go, no. That's how it works for me. I said, I'll do it. It doesn't mean I'm going to be there. Oh. How do you know you're a Scotchman? There's many ways. Just laugh at them because of the accent. I know that's sounds mean, but they're just funny. Or compare them, with, or compare them to the Geordies. It's more funnier. Oh, they get well pissed when he's like, oh, you're a Geordie. He said, no, I'm Scottish. You're Scottish? No, you're a fucking Geordie, mate. And yeah, that's so fucking hilarious. How do you piss off like a Lithuanian person? Compare them to Russia. No offence. Um, I hope I'm funny. Do I find really funny? When fat people fall off of, off of things, I go like jumping on a trampoline and went right through. That's hilarious, isn't it? <coughs> oh, now what's going on now? Yeah, you know when you sneeze, everyone's like, bless you. Now everyone sneeze now, they fucking run away. Why the fuck is that? Nowadays, if you need a sneeze, you have to wear one of these. Or if you want to sneeze or cough, it's wearing one of these now, isn't it? Yeah, I look like a terrorist now. Yeah, fucking worry about going in shops and wearing one of these. I still look like a pit up. Even though if I'm wearing that, not wearing one at all. Yeah, bloody hell. Today's now, kids don't understand the 90s rock. Yeah, then they there's something called heavy metal rock. And I was like, oh, listen to this rock music. And I said, okay, that's not fucking rock. It's fucking noise, mate. Get that and throw it in a bin. Ah, oh, who remember the days, yeah, you know, when Liverpool fucked up the league, when Stephen Jarrod, Stephen Jarrod um, slipped up, fell on his arm. I hear it every fucking day. We're in 2020 now, I still hear it. So, oh, God, oh, oh. Oh, do you remember that day? I said, yeah, yeah, I remember that day. Oh, day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, don't remind me of that one. Yeah, so Stephen Jarrett fall, uh, fell over his arse and gave it to them while and scored a goal. I said, don't need to be reminded of that. Oh. Ah, right, bloody hell, that. I get that all the time. Oh. Oh, don't you love it when people, like, think... They all like it and that. And so you look at it, one stare at them and say, Look like a twat, mate. That's that, yeah, I'm just saying. So they think they're all sexy, they think they're all built up as them, mate. Join the gym. You're flopping a bit. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright. You remember the drunk people at the pubs? Does it? I remember the drunk people had a pubs, yeah. They start singing like, Who are ya? Who are ya? So I'm just, I'm just ready she's I'm just coming for a pint. Fucking hell, that's years ago. Well, yeah, you should not say, Who are ya? I said, Ready she's coming for a pint. Then they challenge you on pool. They, they, you act really bad, don't you? Yeah, you lose like tenner. Then, you be a manoeuvre the court quite a few times. Oh yeah, that's all hustling. Don't do that, guys. That's not good. Even though it's funny. Um, who had that problem at school? Detentions. Fucking hate them. You go into detention, you sit down, bored as fuck. And I still want to run away from there. Bloody hell, that's a long bloody detention back then. To be fair, I should be doing my own work. Me doing homework is just like me reading the book. Oh, well, I don't do that either. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm running out of jokes. A massive joke I've seen. Yeah, just look in the mirror. Actually, I don't do that. I put the crap the fucker. <laughs> A fucking old joke I heard. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. 
who loves it when you go to the cinema, you got your girl, and that's watching them. What? Oh, this has happened to me with the girl. You got arm round and everything. You're in the cinema watching a movie. You drink your fucking pop in front at first. Yeah, nothing else. Movie starts. Oh, I need to piss. <laughs> then you come back. Oh, I need to not piss. Then you keep going. You keep going, going and going and going and going. You mean it's a half a fucking film? I do that all the fucking time. Piss off the girl, piss off the girl who, who I was with back then. Uh, to get out that boring movie. Yeah, I love movies. Uh, yeah, movies, movies, movies. The best one. It's got to be Prana. It's got loads of porn in it. Oh my god, don't get me back on porn, man. Yeah, in this country you have to be 16 to have sex, yeah. You have to be 18 to buy porn, uh, watch porn. What's, what's the point of that? It's just like when you're having sex when you're 16, don't look down. What point is that? Oh, dogs. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's juice cakes out. Adios. Remember, like, subscribe if you're new. And adios. Don't know why I say adios all the time. Goodbye, motherfuckers.